The pressures facing some ambulance services during the pandemic are off the scale, according to the Royal College of Emergency Medicine. The BBC has seen leaked data which shows ambulance waiting times at hospitals in the southeast of England rose by 36% in December compared to the same period the year before. Our correspondent Faye Kirkland, who is also a GP, has this report. Uh, I was not, not unconscious straight away. Um, when they got to me, I was lying on the ground, face down. Delivery driver Chris Lanning was unloading a lorry in Selby, Yorkshire, when he was struck on the head by falling equipment. Colleagues called an ambulance, but more than an hour later, it had failed to arrive. You're shaking, you're chattering, uh, your speech is getting slurred. I was freezing cold, wondering myself, you know, when is this ambulance going to arrive? I need an ambulance. Chris was eventually taken to hospital by his colleagues and found to have fractured his skull. Ambulance services in England are facing enormous pressures. One paramedic working in London, whose voice we've changed, says he's seen patients waiting 12 hours for an ambulance. Some days we're seeing patients that have been on the streets for hours on end. So we had an adult male the other week who had fallen in the street and he had been on the floor for probably about six or seven hours. He was unable to move. His friends tried to get him into a van, but they couldn't move him. And it was a freezing cold night to be taken to hospital. And then we've picked him up and he had quite a bad leg injury. How's the service coping? The service is on its knees at the moment. We've also learnt that on one point on Monday, more than 700 patients were left waiting for an ambulance, but none were available. Data leaked to BBC News shows that in the South East, ambulances spent nearly 8,000 hours waiting to offload patients in December up more than a third for the same month the year before. The idea that you break a leg and you call an ambulance, which is the right thing to do for that scenario, and you can't, nothing comes for over seven hours, that's just appalling. Dr Adrian Boyle says it's a crisis unlike any other he's seen. There is absolutely no doubt we're in a crisis, but it's not just the ambulance service, it's the whole urgent uh, and emergency care uh, pathways. People may feel that we have a winter crisis every year. This is different. This is on an order of magnitude worse. And, and certainly this is the worst winter crisis I've been through in my 25 years of practising as a doctor. Ambulance services say it's taking significantly longer to hand over patients at hospitals, but they're doing everything they can to meet the demand. Faye Kirkland, BBC News.